I really appreciate you joining me today on Saturday. For most people, this is your weekend. So thank you. I definitely do not work for the government. No, I do not work for the government. I work for myself and I love what I do. I work from home and thanks to Zoom, I'm able to connect with people like you from all over the world. So no, I don't work for the government. But people who work for the government in Canada get paid very well. It is a good job. There are many different jobs available for people in the government, but not me. Welcome, welcome. Um, would you like to watch the... Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that, about the Nair video live and show your reaction. Ah, thank you. I'm, I'm glad that you find my pronunciation good. I'm, I'm happy that I speak clearly and that you can understand me. I am a native Canadian. Thank you for the compliment, Amiko. Thank you. Um, I am a native Canadian. I was born and raised in Canada. I was born in Toronto. The sound is not clear. Hmm. I am teaching English as a second language or as an additional language. Um, many people who are learning English actually speak another language. So I like to say an additional language versus just ESL because many people speak uh, different languages. CBR, I'm not in Toronto. I live in London, which is about two hours away from Toronto. You're welcome. Uh, thank you, Mateo. Um, I love Dominican. Dominican is beautiful. I've been there twice and it's just lovely. I hear someone else saying the sound is clear. So if you could all do me a favor, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me clearly because I can switch headphones if, ah, you're here, Juliana. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Juliana, am I saying your name correctly? Ah, Thailand. Ah, welcome. I spent a month in Thailand. Thailand is absolutely beautiful. I really, really love it there. The people are very, very friendly, and it's it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, you want to know about the falls. Well, I can do a separate video for you, CBR. I'll record a video and tell you a little bit more about it. Today, I just want to speak generally about what I do at Fluency Focused. Um, so that's what I'll do today, but I will make a note and I will definitely. Uh, yes, Valarouz. Yes, welcome. Um, Juliana, am I saying your name correctly? Because I'm you said it quickly on your video. Um, uh, you hear the air conditioner? Okay, I'll try to turn it down. It is really hot and humid here in London, Ontario. So I need to stay a little bit cool. Um, so let me turn it down a little bit. I'll, I'll see if I can turn it off and manage. Welcome, Jean. Hello, hello from the Ukraine. Welcome. Let's see how many people we have so far. It's hard for me to see. Um, do I have a schedule for teaching hours? That's a really great question. So right now what I'm doing is I'm working on some conversational English classes that will be available by Zoom. So um, I will be posting more information about this. What I want is to make small classes with about six people at the most so that you can get to know these people and talk to them once a week on Zoom. So I will need to get groups of people um, together that are at a similar level. London, Ontario is hot, humid, and rainy today. So it's not that beautiful today. Thanks for asking, Yoni. How are you today? How are you? Thank you all for coming today. I know it's Saturday and I know that it's the weekend for most people. So I really appreciate you taking the time to be here um, to listen to what I have to say. How can I be a translator as good as I can? Well, I'm not sure what language, what's your first language that you speak? Tell me what your first language is. You might have to um, look that up on the internet. I'm not a translator, so I don't know. 
I do speak a little bit of French. Ah, you're in Mississauga. Okay. I studied French when I was younger in school. And this is the thing about language. If you don't speak a little bit every day, you start to forget the language. And so I studied French a long time ago in school. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you're welcome. And so um, I don't get the chance to speak French very often. When I have traveled to France and tried to practice speaking French, people answer me in English because they want to practice speaking English. So sometimes it's really hard to find someone to practice speaking a language with. And this is why I created Fluency Focused, because a lot of you have a basic understanding of English. You understand the foundations of grammar, vocabulary, um, pronunciation even. It's in your head. You've studied it. But maybe you haven't had the chance to speak to someone for a long time. By following me here on TikTok, every day I will post a topic and you can post a video reply. So I'm going to go over how to post a video reply again in a few minutes. I'm going to show you a step by step. Please know that this is being recorded, and so I know there are many questions and comments. I can't answer them all, but I will review the video after we finish the live, and I will answer your questions. I will reach out to you, and so if you have questions, please, please um, put them in the comments, and I, I will respond. So let's get started. First of all, Please remember to introduce yourself, say hello. You can tell us where in the world you're located if you want to. You don't have to. Um, I want to introduce myself. If you haven't met me yet, my name is Marin, and I am a native Canadian English language speaker. I'm also an internationally certified teacher of English as an additional language. So I went to school to study how to teach English. And it's something that I absolutely love doing. I love meeting new people and I love learning about your culture. And it just is the best job in the world for me. So I want to tell you about three steps you can take to really boost your confidence in speaking English. So the first one is to speak. You need to speak a little bit every day in order to boost your confidence in speaking English. And I know that's hard, but by leaving me a video reply every day, you can practice speaking your English. And if you leave a video reply, I will respond. And there are five people that have been brave and left video replies for me, and I have responded to them. And I'm going to give them a shout out in a few minutes. So that's step one. The second step is to connect. Connection. Connection is really important. So some of the ways you can connect with other English language learners is through the various social media platforms that Fluency Focus is on. So we're here on TikTok, and I also have an account on Instagram. Right now, I'm working on expanding to other platforms, including Facebook and YouTube. I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question about Facebook. I would like to create a private Facebook group that would be a paid membership. So it would be a very small amount every month, maybe $5 Canadian. And in this Facebook group, it would be a smaller group where you would be able to ask me more questions and I would respond quickly and you could get to know other English language learners. So I want to ask you all if Facebook is a platform that you use. So I want to see how many people would actually use that. So let me um, put this poll up and you can either answer yes, you would be interested in using Facebook, no, or you just don't use Facebook at all. So let me see if I can create this poll. Um, this is the first time that I've used the poll feature. So let's just see if I can do that. Um, okay, 
So here's the poll. Are you interested in a private Facebook group? So it would be um, an opportunity to interact with me more. I would do some more live, private lives where you would have more of a chance to have conversations with me, ask me questions. So you're going to choose yes, that would be interesting for you, no, or I just, you don't use Facebook because people use different platforms. Um, this kind of group really isn't something that would work on TikTok. So I'm going to put this poll up for five minutes. If you're interested, you can answer the poll. If you don't want to, that's okay. Totally okay. Um, so now I'm going to take an, a moment. So Rita, please answer the poll that way at the end. Mateo, answer the poll for me. That way at the end of the live, I can have a look and see what your responses are because it's hard to keep track of everybody. There are a lot of people here right now. I'm gonna take this moment right now and I'm going to show you how to use a video, how to post a video reply here on TikTok. There is a pinned video, so I'm just going to open up my iPad and we're going to do, 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 have a look. So just give me a moment to get that open and I will show you how to do it. Okay. So the first thing, let's just see. Okay. First thing you want to do is you want to go to the fluency focused TikTok page, okay, and you're going to choose a video. So you're going to choose a video where I've asked a question that you can answer. So let's say you've chosen the video. So just for today, I'm going to show you this. This was the um, post that I made about the live. So you're going to go to the video and on the side, you can see, let me just use this, you can see the comments. So that's where you would normally make a comment for any post. You're going to go to that. And then you're going to see all the comments that people have left, right? You're going to find the comment um, that I've left. So you're going to look for the picture of me and the fluency focused account. And that's the one you want to go to and you're going to hit reply. So just like you would make a normal comment, you're going to go to reply. You're going to see this and you're going to see the bar, the place where you can put your comment but I don't want you to type anymore. We are all about speaking. I want you to practice speaking so you feel more confident. Hit this, not, when I say hit, I don't mean this. I mean touch. So we can use the word hit, which also means to tap on something on an iPad. So you want to hit or touch the red camera picture. When you touch this or hit this, it will take you to another screen where you can record a video. You can record a video up to 10 minutes replying to any of my questions. If you are camera shy, if you don't want to be on camera, I understand, that's okay, I don't need to see you. If you want to show me your face, that's awesome. If you don't, that's okay. You can hold the camera at the wall, at the ceiling, whatever you want. You can, um, CBR made a great video and I got to see how beautiful it is outside in Nepal. I would love to see the scenery where you're living. You don't need to show me your face. But by doing this every single day, you get another chance to practice speaking a little bit of English. And I promise it will boost your confidence. So I really encourage you to try Try not to type anymore. We're all about the speaking. Oh, CBR, thank you. It really was beautiful to see Nepal. Thank you. So that's how to do a video reply. If you want more information about how to do a video reply, you can look um, on my TikTok account, the Fate Fluency Focused account, and there is a pinned video that will show you step by step as well. So right now, I want to give a shout out to four people who are so brave and took a risk and posted a video reply. I want to say huge congratulations to you. That is really scary to put your face and your voice out 
for the world to watch and see. So the first person I'd like to congratulate is Eddie. Eddie was the very first person to post a video reply ever in uh, the whole history of Fluency Focused. So Eddie talked about um, his favorite meal and I just loved watching your video. Thank you so much, Eddie. The second person who posted a video was Liliana and Liliana is from Belarus. Liliana posted an excellent reply and she talked about food too. I absolutely love food. I have a sweet tooth, which if you don't know what that means, I love sweet things. I love chocolate. Um, and uh, so I love hearing about you talking about food. Thank you for everybody who answered the poll. 75% of you said you're interested in the Facebook group, so I will work on that, and when I have that ready, I will make a post here, and I will um, post information on my website as well. So, food. If you want to get me talking, talk about food. So Liliana posted about seafood and wine, and she made me so hungry. Um, so her post was excellent as well. Um, CBR posted from Nepal. I still don't have the pronunciation of his name correct. I want you to know how important it is to me to pronounce your name correctly. Your name is your identity and it's who you are. And I find that many English language learners come to Canada and they change their name to an English name that is easier for people to pronounce or say or, or just understand. I believe it's important to keep your name. That is you. That is who you are. So CBR, I want you to leave me a video reply and I want you to tell me how to pronounce your name. I want you all to, when you introduce yourself in your video replies, tell, tell me how to say your name. My name is Marin. It sounds like Karen. It's Marin. Thank you, CPR. My name means from the sea. I know, I get hungry too, David. I'm always hungry. It's nice to work from home because I can go to the fridge and get food anytime. It's, it's very convenient. So CBR, that would be awesome. Um, and Huda. Huda left me a beautiful message. Huda is from Morocco, and she left a beautiful message introducing herself. Um, Huda, please let me know what topics you'd like me to ask video questions. And finally, we have Ruben from Colombia, and Ruben talked about what he does on the weekend. He's like me, he actually works on the weekend, and so he spoke a little bit about that and what he does in his free time. And he spoke a little bit about wanting to work from home because the traffic is so bad in Colombia. And I understand um, here in London, the traffic is okay, but in Toronto, it is really, really bad. I do not like driving to Toronto. The drive from here to Toronto should take two hours and sometimes it takes three hours. So an extra hour because of traffic. So welcome, Manuel from Dominican. Hello. Um, I love working from home because I don't have to drive anywhere. We also have really cold, cold, snowy winters and snowstorms. And we get winter from October till March or April. So I like that I don't have to drive in snowstorms. I don't have to drive when the weather's really cold. I can stay home and be cozy and I still get to talk to all of you so I feel very very lucky about that so definitely great to uh, work from home when you're leaving me a video reply please remember to speak slowly when you speak slowly you are able to speak clearly I want you to think before you speak there's no rush, and I want you to take a risk. I want you to try leaving a video reply. It doesn't have to be perfect. There's no such thing as perfect English. It's better to try and take a risk 
than not to try and not to speak. Your English will never get better if you don't keep trying. So, ah, you teach at a private school. Ah, in Nepal. What, what do you teach, CBR? That's very interesting. I, I would love to know what you teach. At what age, what level do you teach? So over the last two weeks, I've asked you a question every day about different topics. So some of the questions I've asked you are what inspires you? And I've had some really nice answers. Leave me a video message. Don't type it. I've asked what about what is your dream job? I've asked you where in the world you'd, let, you'd like to visit. CBR says Niagara Falls. I've asked about your best meal and I've had lots of great answers. And if you've left, if you've typed in English, uh, sorry, typed an answer, I want you to try leaving a video reply. You have 10 minutes that you can talk for your video reply. It's an excellent way to practice speaking English. So I want you to be brave and leave a message. That would make me so happy. You teach English for primary up to 15, 15 years. Very nice. That's great. Teaching is my dream job. It makes me really happy. I just absolutely love um, teaching. So some of the other questions I asked you, I asked about your weekend and I asked about your learning goals. This is a very important question and it would be a great question for you to answer. So even if you didn't answer these questions last week, you can always go back to these videos and record a video reply anytime. They'll still be available. Um, I asked people about the new app Threads. I don't know if this is a, th a thread. Juliana, you're an English teacher too. Wonderful. Very good. We, we can exchange ideas, teaching ideas. That, that's excellent. Um, the, the Threads app, I did set up a fluency focused account for Threads. I don't really understand it. I don't understand why you can't leave hashtags. I don't know. I'm not really impressed with it so far. And then the final thing I asked was about summer. What are your plans for summer? Is it summertime where you live right now? You're a university teacher, Sammy. What do you teach? Let me know. Very, very interesting. Now I'm losing this. It's really weird with these earphones. This one fits in my ear, no problem. And this one comes out. I don't know, my ears must be different sizes, it's kind of strange. Okay, so I really want to hear from you about what topics you want me to ask you about next. Juliana, you had a really interesting idea um, about a topic and I tried to go back and find your video and I couldn't. If you want to type your idea for a topic, I would love for you to do that please because it was an excellent question and it might be my question that I ask you on Monday. So please feel free to tap in, um, type in your um, ideas for topics. If you don't want to do it here, you can post a video reply. You can also contact me through the website at www.fluencyfocusedenglish.com. Environmental health, amazing. Um, I, I think the environment is so important. That would be such an interesting um, subject to teach. Very, very, very cool. So now I have talked for a really long time and I'm going to open it up and encourage you to ask me any questions about fluency focused and I'll try to answer any questions I can answer now. If I can't answer your questions now, remember I am recording this live and I will be able to answer questions after the live because I will be able to see your TikTok name and then I will be able to contact you. So please ask me any questions about fluency focused, about speaking English. Um, I'm, I'm here to answer these questions and I hope to go live once a week and do the same thing where we can talk about different subjects and you can have a chance to ask questions. So 
I open it up to you and I'm, I'm reading your comments. Um, can I join with you on Facebook? Yes, CBR, I am working on creating a private um, Facebook group so that we have a smaller um, group. Yes, please, Sammy, um, you can like and share. The more likes and shares we get, the more TikTok will show this to more people. Hi, Vipin, welcome, good morning. Uh, how long does it take? Um, it depends on your English level um, to improve your speaking, but the best thing, the best thing that you can do is look on TikTok every day and answer my questions. And if you don't want to leave a video reply, you can actually just take your phone and record the answer for yourself and then play, the, play it again and listen. Another great tip I have for you is to watch TED, TED, TED Talks. TED Talks are an amazing way to watch a video, you can read the transcript, and you can learn about really interesting topics. So watching my videos every day will help. Absolutely, practice is the only way you will improve your English. Okay, so Liliana's question was, if you gave, oh, I love this. This is a really deep question. What advice would you give to your younger self? I'm writing it down so I remember. This is going to be my question for Monday. Thank you so much. So this is a really deep question. What advice would you give to your younger self? So. As we get older, we have more experiences, we grow, um, and sometimes when you're younger, you don't have, well, you don't have as much experience. So we do become wiser with age. So what advice would you give your younger self? Welcome, welcome, thank you for joining the live. Please remember to tap for likes and share the live so many people can join us. Oh, well, I'm glad, Mateo, I'm glad that you're here. I'm really glad you're here. And I want you to know that having a personal connection with each of you is important to me. I don't want 10 million followers. I want followers and people who are here who are committed to speaking English and showing up every day and recording video replies and really trying to um, boost your current English level. That's who I want here. I want to learn about you. I want to learn about your life and make that connection with you. So if that's something that is important to you, then you're in the right place. Um, and I'm very happy for all of you to be here. So thank you. Please ask me any questions, um, anything about fluency focused. I know that many people have asked about the private lessons. I only accept a very, very limited number of students. And um, I do private one-on-one -on -one lessons. So they are 50 five -oh minute lessons. And it's conversation, just like we have on TikTok. Um, where we talk about topics that you're interested in, you need to book a minimum of four sessions at a time. And this way we can build a relationship and talk about things that you're interested in. I usually um, do private lessons with people at the B1 intermediate level. And so if you are interested in this, please contact me. I am from London, Ontario, Canada. I'm really glad you liked the videos. Um, she had been, she would have traveled the globe. Not sure what you mean by that. Um, what makes me feel happy? This, this time with you makes me feel really happy. That's a great question. Um, I think the Facebook group will probably be $5 Canadian a month. And the reason that I want it to be a paid membership is to lower the number of people that are in the group. Um, 
it's really hard when there's thousands of people and so if the group is a little bit smaller it will give you a chance to connect with other people and it will give me a chance to really get to know you better so it may be that people in the private Facebook group will have access to the conversation classes that I would like to start and so the conversation classes will be a maximum of six people from all over the world, but they will be at your level. And that's really important. I've taught many English language learners, and when you have people who are at different levels, it can be very intimidating, it can be very uncomfortable if you want to speak, but all the other people are at a different level. So I will try to develop groups of six people that want to have a weekly lesson or a speaking class together at the same time and the same level. So, oh, I'm glad it's clear. I'm really glad that it's clear and easy for you to understand. Um, I do try to speak clearly. Um, so back to what makes me happy. This makes me happy. Um, also chocolate. I absolutely love chocolate. Um, chocolate makes me happy. And I have a very unusual pet that makes me happy. I don't know if you have heard of the animal called a bearded dragon. Let me know if you've heard of this animal. This is a kind of lizard. Matthias, there are many, many people here, so it's hard to answer all the questions. But if you put a question, um, I will I will answer you after the live. This is being recorded, and so I will answer you. Uh, no hablo espanol, but I would love to learn. I do um, speak a little bit of French, but I haven't practiced. You like chicken. Chicken is really healthy. Chicken is great. Happy to meet you, too. So my pet is a bearded dragon. Has anyone ever heard of this animal? Do you know what a bearded dragon is? Let me know. This makes me happy. Spending time with my pet makes me really happy. Um, he is a creature that's from the desert in Australia. And so he lives in a cage with me. And um, he is a very interesting pet. So yes, he is a dragon, Sarah, good. So you do know, maybe, let's see, how is our time? If you would like, I can introduce you to him. Would you like to see my dragon? Would anyone like to see what a bearded dragon looks like? He is a very unusual pet. And maybe I will make a video about him. Does anyone else have any pets? Sarah wants to see the dragon. Yes, you want to see Viviana? All right, let me take a moment and I will see if I can bring him out to show you. Hold on one moment. While I go get him, you can think of some questions. Ah, welcome, lonely man. I love Thailand. I have been there. Okay, here he comes. His name is Morty. He is three and a half years old. And I'm going to bring him out for you because he is lots of fun. Sometimes when I'm teaching, I will bring him out and he will sit with me like this. Here is my dragon. So he is 24 inches long and I will turn him around. When I'm teaching, I put him here sometimes. He is a very sweet pet. You have a beagle. I love dogs. So bearded dragons, hello, are from Australia. So you can see his face. Bearded dragons shed, so that means their skin comes off. And... When they are upset, their beard turns different colors. So you can see right now, up here is shedding. 
It, no, it never bites. They are very calm animals. It does not bite. This part is shedding. So this is going to come off and on his leg. So I'm going to put him in the window over here. At my desk, I have a spot. I don't know if it will work. I'll Maybe I'll make a video. So, no, don't be afraid, CBR. He is, I have had him for um, three years, and he does not bite. He is very, very calm. He is a very, very sweet pet. I promise you, he, he, he doesn't bite. Um, yes, if you're interested in private lessons, please email me. So you can email me at um, speak at fluencyfocusedenglish.com. So you can visit the website. I have to turn the um, fan on a little bit, you guys. It's hot. I'm getting too hot. Um, so the bearded dragon eats um, greens, salads, um, vegetables, but he also eats bugs. So I have to feed him bugs sometimes, which is kind of gross, but that's what he eats. Uh, the live is about fluency focused. It's about speaking English and boosting your confidence in speaking English. Many people don't have a native English speaker to practice speaking with. And by leaving a video reply, it gives you an, opportun uh, an opportunity to have a native English speaker respond. Um, banana, not so much. Bearded dragons can't eat a lot of fruit because it's not good for their teeth. Their teeth can um, get cavities, just like we need to brush our teeth, and so um, they they can't they can't have fruit. So bugs and salad. But it's funny because when I go to the grocery store and I buy him lots of salad and vegetables, people think that. I'm so healthy, and it's really for my bearded dragon. So um, if I'm not answering your question, it's because there are many, many people here on the live. I can't see how many people are here, but I have said that it is being recorded and that I will answer any questions that I've missed after the live. I am from London, Ontario, Canada. So it's close to Toronto. It's a, about two hours away from Toronto. Please ask me any questions about um, speaking English, about any programs. Let me know what topics you're interested in. I would really like to know what um, 55. Thanks for telling me. Excellent. Very good. Is this a good time to have a live? What do you think? Is there another time that you would prefer I do lives? Is Saturday a good day to have a live? The dragon eats vegetables and worms, bugs, and they have to be alive. So it's it's kind of um, strange. I will make a video. Maybe this week one of the questions, one of the topics will be uh, about pets and animals. Does anyone else have a pet? Yes, lives are a great way, Davey, to improve. This is a good time for you, CBR. Okay, good. Very good. Um, Agile, the best way to improve your English is to speak a little bit of English every day. You can watch. Um, now 61, thanks for telling me. Very good. The uh, writing is white, and it's against a white background, so I can't see. You're interested in publishing research. Very good. I think 8 p.m. is the best time. 8 p.m. my time or your time? I'm not sure. What is my teaching title today? I'm not sure what you mean by that. You have a bunny. Okay, very interesting. That's an interesting um, pet. You want to you want to improve because you understand almost everything, and that that's the key. So. 
I'm sure that you have a little bit of English, but by speaking more, it will boost your confidence. You may have more knowledge, more understanding, more words than you think. But when you get in a situation to speak English, you feel afraid, nervous. I want you to have a place where you can come and you can practice speaking English where I will not judge you and I will help you. So I will give you ways to improve your English. I will help you with vocabulary, with pronunciation. In the conversation classes that I will be developing, the focus will be conversation. So I won't focus so much on grammar and pronunciation and vocabulary, but we will talk about them. I, I will um, try to go live at least once a week, Abdul. That's my plan. Um, and I will be reviewing this live and read your comments and questions, anything. Hey, KY, welcome. Thank you for the likes and the shares. It really, really helps other people find this live and find out more about Fluency Focused. If you have any ideas for programs that you would like, you can also contact me and ask questions. I have taught students from all over the world, from many, many different places, and I really, really love what I do. It, it's um, incredibly rewarding. So, Abdul, time and hours have not been chosen yet because it depends on when people would like to have these classes. So what I am working on on the website, I'll show you what the website looks like if you haven't visited the website yet. Um, just let me pull it up on my iPad. Um, on the website, um, it looks like this. So the main page, is like this and it just has a picture of me and then it has the three steps speak connect grow these are the steps that you need to use in order to improve speaking english and then it has a way to go to TikTok, instagram and an email you can send a, an email directly from there this is where i will be posting information about the classes once i decide so what I may create is a form and the form will be for you to fill out and tell me what level that you're at. Um, so the website is fluencyfocusedenglish.com. You're, we you're welcome, Abdul. Does anyone else have any other questions right now? Do you have topic ideas? I love Juliana's. Are there for teenagers? Sure. I, I'm open to that, absolutely. I want to encourage everyone to practice speaking English. So I mostly work with adults, but I, I have worked with many teenagers and that, that's great. That's totally fine, Juliana. Yes, please, please. I, I mean, obviously we don't have children on TikTok or we shouldn't have children on TikTok, but if there are teenagers who want to, sure. Yes, and I, I will respond to your um, video replies. I would really like to. Um, greetings, I replied to the question you posted about why. That's the way video replies work. When you create a video reply, it's like you're making a post. So that's a good point. It will show up on your um, profile. It, it will be there as a post from you because you're creating it. If you don't like that idea, if you don't want your face on TikTok, TikTok you can turn the camera um, to face somewhere else. You can also just leave an audio message. And if you don't want to do that, you can also just take your phone and record an answer to my question on your phone. If you do that, I encourage you to then listen to the question. This will really help with your speaking English. It's a great way to speak a little bit of English every day. I really, really recommend it. And it's better to speak a little bit every day than try to spend a long time. Yes, listening is very important. 
Absolutely. Yes. Listening is important because in order to speak, you need to listen first, right? You need to listen to what someone is saying so that watching my videos, listening to the questions then allows you to think and then speak. Remember when you record your videos, speak slowly. Don't rush. Try to speak slowly and clearly. Don't worry about speaking perfect grammar, perfect pronunciation, because I can understand you as long as you are trying to express your ideas clearly. So if you forget a verb tense or you forget a word, you can still get your ideas across. And this is what I want you to focus on. When people are trying to speak English or any language and they get worried about perfect pronunciation, perfect grammar, you get stuck. Fluency is about being able to speak with a flow and not getting stuck, not worrying if you make a mistake. Keep going. No one in this world is perfect. I want you to try. Trying is better than not trying. Do I have any regrets? Oh, <laughs> that is a, these are hard questions. Um, regrets? I think that I try not to live with regrets. And instead, I look at experiences in my life and try to learn from them. And if I've made mistakes, I try to not repeat them. Okay, Raj, I understand that you feel hesitation, but I want you to keep trying. Try speaking a little bit every day and you will feel better. You will improve. You definitely will. It works. You will see a difference. Even if you start trying every day for one week, you will realize you know more English than you think. I can explain to you that I studied the language French when I was much younger, a long time ago, decades and decades, years ago, probably 30 years ago when I was younger in school. In Canada, we have two national languages, English and French, and so many people study French in school. So I studied French, and when I was 20, I lived in France for a while, and I tried to speak French every day. But I was afraid to speak because when I would speak French, people would answer me in English because they wanted to practice English. And so it's important to keep trying. That is why this is a great place to practice speaking English. Thank you, Juliana. Thank you. Your questions are deep and wise. Wow, they are amazing. So Saba, you can visit my website at www.fluencyfocusedenglish.com. There's a link in my TikTok bio that you can just click and go right there and you can get um, more information. Bouye, if you can't record a video, you can go to my pinned post and you can watch how to do it. Um, that's right, exactly. Mohammed, you live in the Arab world, so it's hard to find someone to speak English with. That's why I developed Fluency Focused. I want to help you. I want to help boost your confidence. I want to help you have opportunities to speak English with a native English speaker. When I was teaching in private schools and in English language school here in London, Ontario, the number one thing my students would say is they didn't have enough chances to speak English. Even in the school, even in an all-day program, they didn't have enough chances to speak. They wanted more time to speak. I'm giving you a chance every day to give me a video reply that I will reply to you. I have already replied to some people with a video reply, and I'm happy to do that. So I'm based in London, Ontario, Canada right now. I am originally from Toronto, and if I have not answered your question today, please remember 
that I'm happy to answer any questions. I am recording this. I will watch it again. I will see your TikTok name and I will give you an answer. Welcome from Belgium, Jouf. Hello, welcome. So the best way to practice is to respond with a video reply to my daily posts. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. I, I have to say I am so grateful for all your warm wishes and your kind words. Ah, welcome, Davy from Brazil. I have many good friends from Brazil. I have never visited Brazil, but we have a very high Brazilian population here in London. Um, we have a university called Western University. And this university is one of the best universities in Canada. And we have people from all over the world that come to study here because it's an excellent um, university. Hi, Ubiado. Welcome from Guatemala. Ah, hello. You're, you're from, OK. Medina from Dominican. I visited the Dominican twice. It is beautiful. You have a chance to teach in Toronto. Excellent. There are very good um, universities in Toronto as well. I decided to leave Toronto when I was in my early 20s because Toronto is a very big and busy city. And I wanted to live somewhere a little bit calmer, quieter, less traffic. London is a beautiful city. Um, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll make I'm getting ideas um, for more topics to post for the videos. So I will make one about London um, and what it's like to live in London and what I like about London. Um, OK, this is a great question. Why is it called American English and British English? Because the spelling of some words are different. So the words have the same meaning, but in the United States, um, some words are spelt differently. So the Canadian spelling is often the same as British spelling. And I'll give you an example. The word color is spelt in the United States in American English, C-O-L-O-R, exactly UAB. So color, C-O-L-O-R, is color in the United States in America. And in Britain and here in Canada, we add a U, C-O-L-O-U-R. And so there are several words that are like this. They mean the same thing, but um, it's just a different spelling. And that is why we have British English and American English. Um, but that's an excellent question. And then obviously the pronunciation for many words is different. And you can watch lots and lots of um, exactly UAB, good, um, eraser or rubber. So what is an eraser? An eraser, let me see if I have one. An eraser is something to take away your mistakes. Eraser. A rubber is also for taking away your mistakes. So we, we have many, many words that are different with British English and American English. And there are great TikTok videos that you can watch to see the differences. There are also excellent videos on TikTok of um, different pronunciations of words. There is an amazing woman on TikTok. I'll try to um, put a video up about her. And she is able to do pronunciation for 20 different um, accents. It's really amazing um, from all over the world, South African, French, Spanish, um, different parts of Britain, because even within America and Britain, uh, we have different pronunciations. So uh, it, pronunciation is fascinating. Yes, there, there are so many. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, CVR. I would love to visit Nepal. It's hard because there's so many places in the world I really would love to visit. But it's, it's one of the nice parts about working with people um, learning English because I get to hear about where you live and what your life is like and your culture and we can share this and so for me that's really really special um, it, it's something I really really enjoy 
Does anyone have any questions? Because I'm able to answer questions right now. Thank you for your likes and shares. It's it's just amazing. And it gives us the opportunity to reach out to other English language learners who want to speak with confidence. I want you to feel good about using the language that you know. You've been in Lethbridge and Bant. Very nice, William. Very good. Canadian people are known to be very friendly. Uh, yes, absolutely. This is a great question, Juliana. Does it happen that British and, and Americans don't understand each other? People in Britain, in different parts of Britain, don't understand each other because the accents can be so different. Um, so yes, yes. It is important to pay attention when people are speaking. There's a, um, oh, a documentary about your president, okay, in Tanzania. Okay, I know that there are a lot of um, complicated situations in Tanzania with the government. I haven't been to Morocco. Huda left me an incredible um, introduction video reply this week, and I, I would love to know more about Morocco. It is definitely somewhere I would love to visit. I think it might be too hot for me. I don't love super hot weather. Um, I, I like medium weather, maybe 20 degrees is good for me, but super hot weather, my skin is very light, and so I get a sunburn. Um, ah, Davy, you were in Vancouver. Excellent. Very good. Um, Vancouver is amazing. It's beautiful there. I would love to live there, but it rains there a lot because it's on the water. Um, the weather, the weather is very rainy, and when it is rainy, I get really bad headaches. I don't know if this happens to anybody else, but for me, it it's uh, hard. Hi, welcome to the live. So, if you have any questions, now is a really good time to ask. Um, please remember that I am recording this, and I will try to answer every question that you have posted if I haven't answered. I'm working on the group conversation classes. CBR, that's a complicated question. Um, usually I don't speak about religion because it's a topic that is private for people. Um, so I'm not going to answer that right now. Um, oh, 47 degrees. No, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I, I don't know how. It, it is. Uh, religion and politics in Canada are topics that, um, yes, it's to speak in, and talk about with close friends or in private. Um, it's not really something people discuss publicly because people have very strong views and um, there are some people who are very religious and I don't want to offend anyone. I don't want to sound rude or make anyone feel upset or uncomfortable. And I respect everyone's beliefs and views. I think it's important. You're from Indonesia. Welcome. Hello. Hello. So as we're getting to the end of the hour, I just want to thank you for joining the Fluency Focus community. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking a risk. Thank you for your compliments and your likes and shares. It, it means health. Good? Yes, health. So health, politics, and religion are what we say taboo. They're not really appropriate um, to ask people about. The other thing in Canada, hello from Nepal, um, is weight. I don't know how it is where you live, but it's taboo means it's not appropriate. It's not suitable. You could offend someone. So you don't want to ask about someone's health, politics, government, religion, weight, people's weight. You don't ever want to make a comment to someone about the weight and also Pregnancy. Pregnancy is another one. Um, sometimes you may see somebody and they look pregnant. Thank you, Thandi. Thank you so much. My pleasure. 
they may look pregnant, but it's not a good idea to ask someone if they're pregnant because maybe they're overweight. And this has happened to people and it can be very offensive. So again, I don't know if it's the same for you where you live. Pronounce color. Okay, color, a uh, jesu, color, color, and collar. So a uh, color, collar. And there's a collar, like collar on a phone, but there's also collar, like you wear on a shirt. And they are the same pronunciation. Collar, a collar, someone calling, and collar on your shirt. So, um, Komiso, I will be posting more information about the classes. I do do private one-on-one -on -one classes. And I also do, I'm working on some group conversation classes with people at your level, and it would be a small group of six people. Good afternoon. That's how you say, pronounce, uh, you pronounce good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So I'm going to end the live now. I, it is so wonderful that you all decided to join me today. Thank you. Please remember to post video replies. You can always contact me with an email. You can visit my website. Thank you for coming. Um, I do plan to go live once a week, so I will probably go live this time next Saturday. But if you have a different day or time that you would prefer, please message me. Um, you can message me in TikTok or you can send me an email at speak at fluencyfocusedenglish.com. So thank you all and have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next time. Thank you.